Hi guys, thanks for joining me today. I'm Marilyn and my channel is Making with Marilyn. Now on my last video, I made this shirt and basically what I did is I printed out this QR code on a sublimation printer or actually an Epson printer that I put sublimation ink in and then I pressed it onto this Cricut shirt using my Easy Press 2. Now it did not turn out perfect. Next time I would actually use my traditional heat press to do this, but let me show you, it still works. So using my phone, here's my QR scanner. I click on the link it gives me and it takes me right to my channel. I thought that was pretty cool. And there are so many things you could use this for. One that I think is really neat is if you're getting married and you have a bridal registry somewhere, when you send out those invitations, put this little QR code on it. I know I would much rather be able to just get my phone and scan it and go to the gift registry than to go online and figure out where it is. So in this video, I just wanted to show you real quickly how I made this. Now, shout out to Crafty Leo who told me where to go to do this. And so today, I'm gonna make one of these and I'm just gonna make the QR code. I'm not gonna make another shirt. I'll show you how to do it using her YouTube channel. Now, the name of the website that I use, the one that Crafty Leo gave me was QR Code Monkey. And so you can see it's right there, qrcode-monkey.com. I'll go ahead and hit enter. And then I need to have the website that I want to generate a QR code to go to. So let me pull up her website and I'm gonna go right here, hit Command C for copy. Then I can just go ahead and close that out or minimize it. And then right here where it says your URL, just back over this, and then I'll hit Command V to paste it in here. So you can either do a design with one color. Let me show you what that would look like. And I'm gonna go ahead and do higher quality. So I'll say create QR code, and there it is. Or let's say you want multiple colors. Let's go to color gradient, and you have two choices. A linear gradient, let me show you what that looks like using black, and blue. Again, I'll say create QR code, or instead of that, we can do a radial gradient. So I'll click on that and create it again. So you see the two differences in those. Now, let me show you, you can also add an image. So let's say I just wanted it to say YouTube. You click on that, click on create QR code. It's gonna show up in the middle. Or you can upload your own picture, whatever you want. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And then I thought this was very interesting. I didn't even discover this until after I made my own. But look, you have all these different options and they all lead you to that website. So this is the basic one, but look at this. You can just go in and have all these circles. And then if you want this outside piece changed, Let's do this shape right here. We'll say create QR code. And look, isn't that cute? And then lastly, the little inside square. I thought this looked like the grill of a Jeep. So I clicked on it and tried it out. And there it is. So you can really, really customize these to anything you want. Now I'm not a huge fan of just the little circles. So let's look at a couple more. Here's one with diamonds. And then here's just another random one I'm selecting. All right, I thought I got rid of that logo. Let's say remove logo. And then let me go back to customize. I think I like that one there. Let's create it. And that would be my final product. Now on the colors, you don't have to go with black here. You can have any color you want. So let's say I want red, or let's go down here to kind of a green. That might be pretty. Let's try it out. Okay, I do like that. That's really pretty. I think the blue should be darker. So let's play around with this. Let's see what that looks like. Maybe a little too dark, but you get the point. You can really, really customize what you end up with. I think this is a great tool. Now, I do want to tell you, 
that when I was making mine, so first of all, the one I made, I printed it, and so you just press it on. But when I tried to take it into Cricut, I was kind of having problems. Let me, let me go ahead and download this PNG and show you what you need to do, or at least it's how I got it to work. I'll say download PNG. Now, unless you pay for this, you're going to have this little ad here. You don't even have to watch it. I'm just waiting for mine to be generated. It says it's done, so now it's in my downloads. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Cricut. And you might see when I do that I've taken a lot of these into Cricut because I tried and tried various ways to get them to work so that I could cut them out of HTV. And again, this is the way that I finally had to do it. You say new project. Now before, I was saving mine as SVGs, thinking it would come in and you would just cut it, right? I just couldn't figure it out. So here's what I did. I clicked upload, <laughs> see all those, upload image. Then I could either browse or I could find it. Let me go ahead and get it and bring it in. All right, there it is. I'll say open, and then I want to go with complex. Then I'll say continue. Now on this one, my intent would be to cut it out as opposed to printing it. So what I had to do was I had to go ahead and remove this white background. Okay, that removed most of it, but then you have to go in and click anywhere where you see white. Okay, I think that looks good. Let's hit apply and continue. And then when I get it onto my canvas, okay, I'm going to go ahead and save it as a cut image since I plan to cut this out of HTV. And then I'll say upload. So once I get it onto my canvas, I'm going to go ahead, pull my phone back out, and make sure it really works before I spend all that time cutting it. Now that came in huge. Let's go ahead and make that about 10 inches. And we'll go just a little smaller. Let's say eight. Okay, I wanna click off of it so that I don't have those lines around it. And then I'm getting my phone, open my QR scanner. Oh, there it is. It pulled up, I clicked on the link, and I went right to Crafty Leo. So at this point, if I wanted to make it, I could go ahead and say make it. I would mirror it since it's HTV. Now, I think it's still going to work even if you don't mirror it because I've clicked on these upside down, sideways, and they always work, but I like to stay true to my image. So I would go ahead and mirror this, cut it out of HTV, and it'd be ready to go on a shirt. Now, probably most of you already knew how to do this. I'm a little behind the times, but I hope this helps somebody out there. You could use this on stickers, on postcards. You could use this on anything. I think it's a great tool to advertise your business or your event or whatever you want. So thanks so much for joining me. And until my next video, bye-bye.